Hey everybody, in this one I'm going to show you how to cook popcorn kernels like this here using your microwave and this method will give you popcorn that is uh, moist and soft not um, not dry and hard like you would get with an air popper or at least in my case with an air popper so all you need is just a microwave set bowl like this here you want a paper plate like this here I'm actually using this one. Um, I do not recommend using a plate like like this here because this will get very hot and you could actually crack the plate. Um, that didn't happen to me but it could happen. So I always recommend using a uh, paper plate for this. So what I'm going to do is just add some popcorn to the bowl. I'm going to add A little less than um, a half cup, maybe three-eighths of a cup. Just add it right to the bowl. And now we're ready to go. Um, you don't need to add any oil or anything else to this. You can just pop it just like it is. Now, if you wish, you could add some of this stuff here. This is a movie theater butter-flavored oil blend. It can be um, used... Um, with cooking the popcorn or it can be used as um, a topping. I use it as a topping. Um, so this method here, you can, um, you can use this method to pop just regular popcorn um, and you can um, season it however you wish. So what we'll do is just go ahead and just set this on top just like that and we'll go ahead and add this into the microwave. Okay so we'll go ahead and stick this in the microwave um, and I'll set this to two minutes. Um, your microwave may be different depending on its power. This here is 1100 watts so it's going to stick it in like that and set it for two minutes. Now I should mention this microwave does have a popcorn setting um, for popping three ounces and 3.5 ounce bags but since we're popping it this way I don't recommend using that setting because it may not be accurate, at least for this. I tried it once and it didn't give me enough time. So. And of course the, the plate helps keep the kernels inside the bowl and helps trap in moisture. You'll see, uh, you'll see steam escaping as the popcorn begins to pop. So of course, as with popping popcorn in the microwave, you want to stop it once the, the uh, popping slows down to maybe one pop per second or so. Usually two minutes is perfect timing for this. There we are. And you may be able to see there's a lot of steam coming out, so just be careful that steam is very hot. Just carefully lift the plate off, and now you have popcorn that is um, popcorn that's good and moist. Not harnessing or anything like that at all. Perfect.
Okay, so now I'm going to transfer this over to my uh, my popcorn specific bowl. And since I didn't use any oil or anything with this, all I would have to do is just rinse it out and that'll be it. So it makes cleanup very easy. And you can probably, you'll see there's, there are some kernels at the bottom, but overall it's not too bad. Wouldn't be much different than popping um, a microwave, microwave of popcorn in the, uh, of course, the microwave. And this way I can just go ahead and toss the kernels out without having them in the bottom of my uh, ball of popcorn. Let's dump the rest of that out and just rinse this out. So of course this is using just stuff I already had here in the kitchen. Uh, nothing, nothing special. Um, no uh, special poppers needed like my uh, my hot air popper, which I dislike. Um, and so you can season this however you wish. Um, now, if you like, you can you can spray some olive oil on this popcorn, and that'll help um, stuff stick to the popcorn. Now, personally, I use, as mentioned earlier, I use this stuff here as well as this stuff here, since I like movie theater popcorn. Now, actually, I have the uh, the flavored oil blend in the spray bottle, so all I have to do is just spray it. Then toss it, spray it some more. So this is not exactly really hit the uh, healthiest popcorn. So if you're if you're wanting super healthy popcorn, of course you wouldn't you wouldn't do it this way. And that is how I make movie theater flavored popcorn. So anyways, that's how you can easily pop popcorn in a microwave when you have just regular popping corn like this here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.